Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Layer 2 Troubleshooting. This is Layer 2 Troubleshooting Lab number 2. And what you see is we have the same network topology as we did in the Layer 2 Troubleshooting Lab number 1. Again, to sum up the network topology, we have two switches, switch 1 and switch 2, which are connected to each other via Fast Ethernet 014 on both sides. This is an 802.1Q trunk link. On switch 1 we have two hosts, host 1 and host 3. Host 1 is connected to host, I'm sorry, host 1 is connected to switch 1 via fast ethernet 01. Host 3 is connected to switch 1 via fast ethernet 03. On switch 2 we have host 2 which is connected to switch 2 via FA02. And we have host 4 which is connected to switch 2 via Fast Ethernet 04. Host 1 and host 2 are in VLAN 12 and host 3 and host 4 are in VLAN 34. We have the IP addressing of the VLANs. VLAN 12 is 192.168.12.0 slash 24 and VLAN 34 is 192.168.34.0 slash 24. So what we're going to do, just like we did in the Layer 2 Troubleshooting Lab number 1, we're going to pull up our trouble tickets and see what exactly the problems are being. I'm sorry, we're going to look at what the problems that we are having in our network from our hosts. And then what we're going to do is take a look at Layer 2 and show you guys how to solve these layer 2 issues and what to look for. So let's bring up the Word document. Again this is layer 2 troubleshooting lab number 2. The first ticket reads, your junior network administrator was given the task to install two new switches and set up VLAN 12 and 34 along with a few other VLANs on switch 1 and switch 2. Since then, host 3 on switch 1 is complaining that they cannot ping host 4 on switch 2. Configure the network so that host 3 can ping host 4. So it appears as though this is a new switching domain. There's two new switches. and it is telling us the VLANs that were created VLAN 12, 34 and a few other VLANs but the emphasis in this ticket is going to be VLAN 34 because we can see that host 3 is complaining that they cannot ping host 4 and it says configure the network so that host 3 can ping host 4 so let's go back to our network diagram and again what we want to check first when troubleshooting at layer 2 we want to make sure that 